Where are you? I'm right here. <gasps> oh, I see you. Hey, I like your window. Bye. Bye. <laughs>
I've got the month of May. Throw it or kick it. Oh, nice throw. Kick, kick it to that. Kick. Nice. I guess you say what can make me feel this way, my girl. Talking about my girl, my girl. I've got so much honey. The bees envy me. I've got a sweeter song than the birds in the trees. This is Billie Jean's favorite spot in the house. She loves the sun. Anybody with pets at home, do they also like to sit in the sun like Billie Jean? My girl, talking about my girl, my girl. So we ask you for some questions on Instagram and we're going to have a little Q&A session. Q&A with us, the duo. Yeah. Cool. Let's get into it. Samantha DeCaney says, what are Zyla's favorite songs right now? <laughs> Parentheses, yes, including yours. <laughs> She uh, she definitely sings no matter where you are daily still daily. Um, it's really sweet. Some of her other favorite songs, "Wonder" by Shawn Mendes is one of her favorites ever. She loves that one. The song "Tongue Tied" by Group Love. Mm -hmm. She'll ask for that at least once every couple days. Obviously, Beatles. She loves the Beatles. Yeah, she loves Michael Jackson's record right now. She's really into Thriller right now. Music that she can dance to. She loves to dance and move mm. her body. Do you think you'll take Xyla on tour when allowed? Your shows are still some of my faves, says Steiner. We look forward to going on tour again someday when it's safe. And I think it'd be really fun to bring Xyla. I know her bedtime is probably around the same time we hit hit the stage, but it'll be fun, a fun adventure as a family to kind of travel with her. Maybe we'll bring my parents to help watch Baby Girl while we're on stage. But yeah, that'd be fun. NYONYR says, do you believe that songwriting is for everyone? I think anybody can do anything that they're passionate about. If you love songwriting or you want to songwrite, why not give it a shot? No one or nothing can tell you that you can't. That's right. Emma Jean says, do you feel closer to your fans through all of your streaming versus touring and being around in person? That's a great question. That is. Thanks, Emma. That's actually why we started streaming uh, online while we can't tour, so we could feel connected to all of you in some sort of way, even though it's through the internet. But I would say nothing quite can take the place of in-person interaction. That's true. There's something about meeting you in person, there's something about being on stage and you being in the same room. There's a magic there that can't necessarily be replicated online. Absolutely. So we hope to get out there again someday soon. Yes. What are your favorite colors? Asks Jackie. I'm wearing it right now. This olive green, whenever I see it, I'm like, I need that. I like it. I want it. Oh, what about you? I love blue, which is ironic because I'm wearing blue and you're wearing green. Baby. That is, that is gray. No, this is... This is, this is something... This is, is this not blue? This is not blue, honey. I ordered this shirt and it said gray. Michael often gets his grays and blues mixed up. And it, I don't know what it is, but this is not blue. This is blue. This is gray. This is blue. I, do you want me to show you the receipt? No. I'm just saying, this is blue. Ever since we started dating, he thought his gray pants were blue. And I thought, you know what? Maybe you were just taught that that color is blue. And that's okay. I there's, still love you. It's, I, I still love I can you. see what you mean about the gray, but there's more blue in it than gray. Mm -hmm. Gray is like... There's light gray and dark this gray. This is baby. gray. Look, this gray. This is a dark gray. And blue. No, that's there's different shades of gray. There's like 50 of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. <laughs> 
What movies can you watch over and over and never get tired of? That comes from Josie. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, there's this movie that I am obsessed with that Carissa is not obsessed with. I mean, it's fine. I just fall asleep. It's called Deep Impact. <laughs> it's one of his favorites. It's from the it's 90s. A great I just really love end of the world apocalyptic type movies. And there's like a big meteor and it hits the world and it splits and I just think it's a good storyline. The it's acting great. is pretty good it's and great. I it makes me cry. All the feels. It's just a good classic movie. Yeah. I could watch it 10 times. Mhm. Mm I think for me one of mine would be Bridesmaids because it's mm. so funny. And seeing them kind of break their character when they do here and there, it's just comedy. And it's so funny. I love it. That's a it's good, a good one. one. Emily says, what would a musical about your life be called? <laughs> That's a good one, Emily. I think it would be called Hanging. 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 With the Alvarados. Yeah. yeah. It would be called Hanging with, Hanging the, Alvarado. with the Alvarados. And Act 1 is how we film our vlogs. Act two is meeting up with you in person behind the screen. And act three is all of us having a giant party together in person, real time, and hanging yeah. out, hanging with the Alvarados. Hanging with the Alvarados. Come see it on Broadway next June. Yep. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. The best rhythm says, what would you be if you weren't artist? Ooh, hmm. If we weren't musical artists? Yeah, musical artists, I would assume. I would probably still be dancing mm. and working in the industry as a dancer and actor like I used to before we, you know, committed to just singing. Um, that was always so much fun. What about you? I would probably work at a beachside <laughs> kiosk. Ooh. Selling or renting out like kayaks. Surfboards? Or surfboards. Where in the world would you love to do that? Probably the Caribbean Ooh. or maybe even like Spain. Just a really simple life with very little to worry about and just being outside. But I prefer our life now. I, <laughs> let's make that clear. But if I wasn't in Us the Duo or a musical artist, maybe I would just be managing that beachside kiosk. That sounds fun. So Miriam.ayb says, how long do you know each other and how long are you married? Great question. <laughs> We are coming up next week on our ninth wedding anniversary on April 26th. Nine years Nine married. Nine years married. And 10 years together. 10 years together. Mm -hmm. So we've been together for 10 years, married nine years, and we're actually gonna take next week off uh, and just enjoy our anniversary together. So unfortunately we won't be making a vlog next week, but we're just gonna take some us time, connect, and uh, Zyla's actually gonna hang out with uh, Chris's parents for a little bit while we can just have a date and enjoy each other's company. Yes. Nine years married. Woohoo! Let's go. It's almost our anniversary. Yeah. Josie says, what are your favorite weird food combos? I really just like mustard. Uh, so it's not really a combo. It's just me eating mustard out of mustard packets. For instance, when we go to Disneyland and he's like, oh, I need a snack. He just swings by one of the stands that has like the napkins and forks and, and mustard packets and <laughs> grabs one, grabs a couple more to put in his pockets and just sucks the mustard out of the packets. It's a nice low-cal snack. <laughs> it packs up punch of flavor it does and it doesn't make you feel hungry anymore after one packet. It usually lasts me like a good 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> and they're free. And they're free. Thanks, Disneyland. I figured you pay so much to get into the park, the least they could do is give me That's free true. mustard. Facts. Uh, I like ketchup with my eggs, but I feel like that's not that weird. No, it's not that I feel that like weird. a lot of people like ketchup with their eggs. I like pineapple on pizza. I do believe that pineapple has a place on pizza. Okay. Wow. Starting a debate right here in this vlog. Just saying. Pineapple, it deserves more love on pizza. All right? Don't at me. <laughs> Nika Metrev says, if you could go back and talk to your 18 year old self, what advice would you give to them? Whoa, <laughs> that's a good one. I would talk to my 18 year old self about mental health. Yeah. I think one of the things I would touch on would be loving yourself 
and not worrying so much about what other people think. When you love yourself first, everything else is easier and you can love other people better. Um, but yeah, I dealt with some really bad insecurity back in the day and I wish I loved myself more as much as I do now. If I could tell my 18 year old self something, I would say pay more attention to the moment. I was so concerned with the future. I always wanted to get that dream or work really hard to earn that thing or whatever it might be. And I so often forgot to just be present in that mm. moment. Yes, that's good. And had 18 year old self known that, I might have noticed a lot more things that I let pass by. So now I'm trying to constantly remind myself to pay attention to the now because now is really beautiful. And uh, I'm excited about now. Me too. Thank you so much for all your questions. That was a lot of fun. Wait, we should play out the jingle. We should play out the jingle. What was the jingle? It was like, let's just make another one. Q&A with us. Q&A with us, the duo, yeah. Q&A with us, the duo, yeah. New jingle every minute here every on the Alvarado's vlog. You know what? Let's cue that ending jingle one more time. It's a clap. I thought it was going to be more like an applause.